That's the sound of Catarino Olvera's prosthetic leg. He's had to live with it for the past 15 years when doctors were forced to cut off his own leg. But it wasn't because of a deadly disease. Olvera says it happened after a head-on collision with a drunk driver. No tengo opinión muy buena que... I don't have a very positive opinion of people who choose to drive drunk. My own flesh and blood suffered in the accident, so for me it's very hard to tolerate a drunk driver. The accident happened in Washington state. Olvera says he lost his leg, but the drunk driver and his passenger lost their lives. Brownsville police say this is just one of the consequences that people aren't taking into consideration, and their week in jail log supports that notion. There were 17 DWI arrests made over the New Year's holiday weekend. I mean, it's just a matter of people are maybe not aware, not aware of what actually the consequences are of getting arrested for DWIs. Well, first of all, that you're going to injure yourself or injure somebody else and maybe get someone killed. Checkers Taxi in downtown Brownsville had only five calls this weekend from people looking for a safe drive home. Olvera says not everyone will die in a drunk driving accident, but lives can be tremendously turned upside down. Esto cambió mi vida. This completely changed my life. I was used to working every day. Now I'm considered disabled and I can't work anywhere. That changed the course of mine and my family's life because now I depend on a check from the government.